Hello and welcome Aquarius, 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 can't, can't pronounce Aquarius, anyway, this is my best shot, hello and welcome Aquarius, or Aquarians, to your April 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak, you're watching Thomas's Tower Readings, please like, subscribe and share, it really does help the channel out, because believe it or not, it would be nice if that channel grew a little, so put the fucking work in, <laughs> so in any case, <clears throat> what we will do here, Aquarians, we will look at your overall energy for the month of April 2023 before we then look into your emotional core and then lastly look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of April 2023. Now, the first thing I should say to you, because it's coming through here a lot, energetically speaking at this point in time, understand that we are in a seven year. You know, two and two and three, 2023 is seven. This is the year where you are not supposed to hang on to stuff that isn't really working. And you are an air sign, which means while you sometimes do feel like a, like a leaf in the wind, you are an air sign. You breathe well, and you survive well, and you bring joy, and you bring air and energy to your life and to others. So if that is what, you, what Aquarians do, then make sure that people do the same for you in return. That's a very strong message that I'm getting for you this month in April 2023. If people are stressful to you and you don't really need them, <clears throat> tell them off, move on, right? Again, it's a bit in your face, but that's what I'm getting from my guides. And we haven't even looked at anything, but I only work here, I always say that. What that really means is when I say that is because I become the parrot, whatever the guides give me, I will say. Therefore, not only do I not have an opinion, uh, oftentimes I have no memory. Of the readings I just recorded and when people ask me uh, anything about it I have no answers and sometimes I actually have to rewatch them because when I record my own sign which is Pisces I have to rewatch it just to understand what I just said it is just the way my guides work with me in any case Aquarians are you ready let's look at the over energy for the months ahead even though they already started talking about it now you have I, I, I'm working with the star seed deck this month and you have, it's quite interesting, you have the Whale and Orca Elders. Now, let me just show this to you. You have the Whale and Orca Elders. It's interesting. I, I can see this sort of flashing here with different lights because the sun is coming in. Wow, it's quite the effect. I'm not doing any effects. I love that. Anyway, <laughs> there's a couple of things. Number one, when you have uh, the Whale or uh, and the orca or, and or the orca is about understanding that when they start singing you know obviously uh, sound travels much further underwater so the point is when they start singing um you can hear them miles away so whatever you want to say this month make sure you say it in a way that people actually hear you so don't say it with frustration now the other thing that is really important is when we look at the origin story of us as beings, especially as told by, by, uh, by shamanic tribes. We believe that we came or come from the Pleiades and we come from that system. It's, it's actually a constellation above Taurus. And when you go there, you have these seven foot tall see through beings who are us. And then the bravest souls decided to be here, evolve here. And that's why, what we're here for. The point is, in the origin story, we are being told that we came here in a cloud, in the shape of a whale. Therefore, the whale is our first mother. And because that shows up in your overall energy, look at what energy, what people, if that makes sense, you feel, you feel still drawn to, even though you may not have been able to connect with them a lot. And see if you can reach out. That doesn't mean it has to be forever. But the point is, you have your mother here, which means um, not, not only are you being cared for by the universe and loved by the universe, you are a reflection of the universe. So how come you need the, the universe to give you extra love? Well, Obviously, because you're not creating it for yourself. And what I'm getting here strongly is, is because it's about reaching out, to just reflect on. And sometimes what I'm getting here as well is you may reach out to someone that you feel like, okay, they were a bit of dicks, <laughs> let me just reach out anyway. And then you realize that you're right. 
But that in itself gives you a lot of strength to understand, okay, I reached out again, I gave it another shot, they haven't changed, but I have, I'm a different person, so I am no longer reaching out. Again, there seems to be a lot of stuff in here that has to do with reaching out. Also, uh, orcas and whales, the idea is that they dive quite deeply. Again, it's symbolism. The point is, you are by default a very deep person. Anything shallow, anything just on the surface, will not only not sustain you, but it will not interest you for a long time. So make sure, again, it's the overall energy, make sure you are living a life where you really are interested in the people you work with and in the things you do, especially when you're not self-employed. Because that's another thing that I'm getting for you is to, um, you know, be self-employed. And then again, uh, because you have longing for home, which means the connection with your ancestors and the connection to your true home, which is the Pleiades, will be very strong for, for Aquarians this month. So therefore, you have a spiritual uh, um help this month that you may not have felt before that much. So use the energy of understanding I'm not alone in this um, and I have strengths to gain strengths before you do anything else. Anyway, that was your overall energy for the month of April 2023. You're watching Thomas's Tower Readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. Now, Let's look at opportunities for the month of April. I said that in so many other readings, opportunities in April are not as abundant uh, or as numerous as many probably had hoped. Doesn't really matter. The point the guides are making to you is, again, it, obviously it's, it's, it's life continues and, and just because we're dividing the readings here in sections so it's easier to understand, doesn't mean it's all separate. Because you have the star family. And um, what the guides are saying is, since you are from the stars, we just talked about the whale, we just talked about the, the, the Pleiades, we just talked about them being around you, call in support. The moment you feel opportunities aren't really happening, where am I going from here? I could do with some guidance. Call in the guides. Do more meditations. Maybe do some sound healing, sound baths. Play something that creates a higher energy, higher frequencies. <clears throat> but put the time in to really understand I'm not alone in this. Maybe it's time for me to just sit and go like, okay, guys, here I am, help. Really, really important. Because the other thing that you really have to understand is when it comes to opportunities, is your problem is really not to progress well and to be seen well. Your issue is your uniqueness. And you're not for everyone because you are quite unique. Remember, this is not necessarily a world where uniqueness is very much appreciated, but in, when it comes to opportunities, always go for anything where people like, we like you, for you, not for your resume, not for the things you have already proven you can do. We like you for your energy, we like you for you. That is a much better chance of manifesting. Obviously then, when you're manifesting new beginnings, say to the universe, right, call in your support and say, like, okay, I will now only spend time with people who want me for me. This way you manifest differently. Really, really important. You can never, I can never stress enough how, how important it is to use the right words when you manifest, right? In any case, the Aquarians, that's all I got time for. Please like, subscribe and share. It really helps the channel out. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all next month.